joining me again. We've just got a few pre MOT tests to do. We need to check the lights, just give it a quick once over, um, just to make sure that it's going to go through. Well, or try to make sure it's going to go through. You can never be 100% on these things. It's all about opinions. What I think might be okay, the MOT tester might yeah, think otherwise. But hey, oh, we can only do the best we can. So, uh, yeah, let's check the lights out, see what they're like, because it's been stood for such a long while. Um, I'm sure we've got a couple of bulbs gone. Side lights. This one's okay. Oh, we've got one in there that's a bit thicker. We'll have to sort that out. Let's go through the other. Yeah. Main beam. Main beam's good. Right, let's go for this side light to start with then. Driver's side would have been a lot easier. This one's a little bit more fiddly. Let's just drop that down a so sec. It's just a case of getting your hand down the back and popping out the little, the little bulb holder down there. Ooh. It's a twist. It's so tight in there, there's very little room, but left to right handed, we'll get at it eventually. Anti-clockwise twist and out pops a little bulb over there, look. And in there we've got a little 5 watt bulb and look at the colour of that. <laughs> and what we've got here is a little 501 capless bulb. That's what it should look like, nice and clear. Just stick that in there, should come on with a bit of look. There we go, look. 5 watt. That back in its hole. That's a real fed lot. I'm speeding it up because uh, you don't want to watch me struggling too much. I'll show you in a minute on the other side how easy it is to do it when you can get at it. There we go, that's that in there. That's on nicely. What I'll do is I'll take this side out and show you that one. You can probably get at it a bit better. You can see there at the back of the headlight, we've got this one here. And it is literally get, get on it, give it a twist round, and out it comes. You see that one's not too bad, that one's ni nice and clear. It's got a very small amount of uh, carbonisation on it, but I'm okay with that one. And then that back in the hole again. Oh, I can see where it goes, just there. If you can find the hole, I can't see it. I'm doing it from behind and uh, yeah, look, <laughs> put some air around it, you'll get it in there. Push it in, twist, lock it into place. Right, so the front lights are all good now. Let's go around the back and have a look at those. Brakes. Yeah. All lights on there. Side lights. Side lights good. That one's good. Ah. We've got no number plate lights at all. They're both gone. Aha. Okay, let's have a look at those. <laughs> let's just check the fog light first. Yeah, fog light's good. Yeah, reverse light's good as well. Right then, so, number plate lights, let's have a look at them. Right, so down in the depths of it. Underneath here, there, there is the, uh, now you can just twist that out. This, um, this again will twist and pull out the back there. You see that bulb is a right state. But also we can release these uh, bulb holders by pressing, there's a tab on the bot, a top, a tab on the top and a tab on the bottom. And you can press those tabs. Why should you don't drop it though? Oops. Those out. Oh, the top one it just slides. It's the tab on the bottom that releases it then. So you got a little tab there. You just squeeze, pop that out. Right, then, let's have a look then. So our uh, little wire, which I've took out the back there. Here it is. Okay. So again, capless bulb. Just pull it out. Um, 
got my new one here which is the uh, LLB 501 that's on a Lucas number well I've just pop that in and I can poke that possibly it, oh it's nice too short I'm gonna have to put it put it back through the wires just not long enough to bring it through make sure you do it the right way around I'll pop that back in again uh -uh. so it's in at the top and then it clips in at the bottom like that and we just push and twist that back in the old which you know I love doing look you can't get it in again look <laughs> oh there it is let's have a look at the other side I'll just push the little tab on the bottom and we should be able to get this one out like that Again, the wires are just too short to bring it through, so we're going to have to do it from underneath. Now this side's even more awkward because the exhaust's in the way, and it's really tight. That is just stiff. I might end up having to get underneath it if I can't get my finger strength in there. I've tried to pull it out just so I can twist the lamp, and that didn't work. So I'll try it with it back in situ again. Right, let me just grab hold of that and twist it. It's not giving me anything that. That is solid. Go on, you can do it. Oh, she's tight. Oh, she's tight. Can I do it with it half in and half out? Go on. Go on, give it some. This one's been near the exhaust though, so it's. It's really stiff. Oh, the tension's killing me. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Let me go and look at that one. Absolutely crusted, so I'll just pull that bulb out of there. We've got another new one to go in. Again. It's super windy today, so I'm sorry if you've got any like funny sound coming through the microphone. I've put the muffler on, but it's still it's giving us a bit. This is really tight getting it back in as well. Right, is that in? Next thing we need to try is the wipers, wiper, washer, make sure that's working. So we need a decent spray on the screen, we need a, a good wiper blade with no splits in it, and the horn's got to work. Bingo. Yeah, we've got that going on. <laughs> so the things we need to check while we're in here is just a hazard switch. So that's working there. We've got blowers, they're working. We've got seat belts, we need to make sure the seat belts will come across and lock in. So we can pull all those across on all of the chairs, make sure they're all all right. We'll do the back ones as well. All the belts are locking out. And if you remember the uh, back end of the car, I don't think I showed you this when it was finished, but this is the um, aqua steel covering on that beam and everything, and it looks so much nicer. Now that's all been treated. Cleans it up really, really well. All that rust will uh, yeah, stop coming through now. And then we head off down to the MOT station. So uh, just a little trip down the road, it's not far from me, this down to Graham Goods. Take all my MOTs down here. They're nice and fair. So we're down at the garage, he's going in for his MOT, fingers crossed it passes. Yeah, he's passed. We've got an MOT for it. It absolutely flew through the emissions, which I was surprised about. I thought I might have a little bit of struggle with that, but it didn't, it went straight through. Um, no problem at all, so really, really pleased. Everything's looking good. Now we've just got to get the road tax on it, and then uh, it's good to go on the road. Just a quick talk about that. Obviously the car had no MOT on it. Are we okay to drive it to the test station? And the answer to that is yes, as long as you've got insurance, you've got to insure the vehicle 
but you can't road tax it without an MOT. So the first thing you gotta do is insure it, then have proof that you've booked your car in to a garage, that you're then allowed to drive to the garage to get the MOT, um, but, but that's it, you can't drive it round or whatever without the MOT. Um, and then obviously we can now road tax it, so back on the road, happy days. The MOT test, it did say what a lovely example of a car it was. Well, there you go. And he also said that it's a good job we painted the brake calipers blue as it have failed it. Not really. <laughs> That's it. Made all the difference though, didn't it? So I've still got plenty more to do to the bug, so stay tuned, lots more to come. Got a few little goodies to put on there. Um, yeah, and there'll be plenty more videos. I've got loads and loads of different videos to do on it. So yeah, stay tuned, keep looking. Um, it's back on the road though, that's the important thing. If you've got any comments, drop me some comments. Always love your comments. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Today's gonna be a good day, wake up, today's gonna be a good day.